And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. The right fielder, number 13. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. And he pumps the fastball by him at 94. It's 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Checked his swing there. Did he go around? No, says the first base umpire. Ball one. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Legs churning. He's headed for second. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Batting second. The center fielder, Eddie Rosario. To the plate now, Eddie Rosario. As he'll take a look at ball one. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Rosario, a native of Puerto Rico. He was a fourth round selection back in the 2010 first year player draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Left side, but well foul. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. Ranging back is Tucker. On the warning track, he makes the catch. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ballgame. Ready now, Matt Olson. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And that swung on and missed for strike one. Time to be aggressive with these hitters now. After that sack fly, now it's time to try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Breaking Whoa, ball that hit. time that misses out of the zone. The and a good take there. Close, <laughs> but it's 2-2. Two and two. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Now to the plate, Jose Altuve. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Jose. A bit high there, a ball and no strikes. In prior outings against Charlie Morton, he has an even 10 hits in 30 at bats. Two of those hits were for home runs. 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And he loses him on a breaking ball. First pitch on its way. Jeremy Pena is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. Nice job by the pitcher right there to establish himself back into the strike zone. Would have liked to have seen the hitter been a little bit more aggressive in that situation. Usually when a pitcher throws four balls in a row, that next pitch you can get super greedy right down the middle. Hit out towards second. Albies picks it up, and a good throw gets him one gun. So striding in, Alex Brickman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. One and O oh the count. Back up the middle. And this will be a base hit as they too will play to run in the first inning to tie up the ball game early. So now to the plate, Jordan Alvarez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Pulled toward right center field. Chasing after it is Rosario. He gets there, and that's the second out. Digging in now, Kyle Tucker. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Way inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Chop down the third baseline, but a foul ball, one and one. 
Bregman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. In now, Jose Abreu. Nice to wait out a breaking Jose. pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. And he falls behind 0 and 2. And another foul ball. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And foul. Popped up. And the catch is made right on top of the pitcher. Ball set for the start of the inning. And that'll bring up the big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Outfield shaded a bit to left center the first pitch. This is skied into short left center. McCormick comes on now and he has it one down. Into the box now, Austin Riley. Austin Riley. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit, ball one. And that's swung on and missed on a pitch down, one and one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to swing through it, one and two now. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Down into left center for a base hit. That is seven. The designated hitter, Jordan Luplo. Standing in now, Jordan Luplo. As he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Fly ball to straightaway left. Brantley is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And up next, the catcher, Travis Darno. Darno. Comes set. Now the pitch. Ground ball right side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. That is not the shortstop. Orlando Arcia. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. As he'll swing and hit this one hard, but foul off to the left and out of play. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Now a fastball here, not close, and it's one and one now. Check swing, no swing, says the home putt umpire. Ball two. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Three balls, one strike to Orlando Arcia. There isn't a hitter alive that doesn't love hitting in fastball counts like three and one. It's usually a pretty fruitful count in terms of getting a pitch to drive. Full count, three and two. And the payoff pitch. Count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Acuna digs in now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Line drive and that's a base hit into center field. One run is scored. And now this is thrown wildly just getting it into the infield. The tying run is into score from second. It's a 3-3 game. The center fielder, Eddie Rosario. Stepping in now, Eddie Rosario. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And he's safe. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 4-3 game. 
the batter number one. Second base. So up steps Ozzy Albies as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball one and oh. And here's a fastball that's nowhere near the zone. It's two and oh now. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. And that'll just sneak past the glove, and it should be a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. Now that, the first base. Matt. That'll bring up the power hitter, Matt Olson. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. McCormick is there to put it away and finally put. Last half of the second set to go, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Michael Brantley. Rising fastball, and it catches the zone for a strike. A ball and a strike. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. Yeah, he just isn't that sharp on the mound right now. Had a rough start in the first inning, and now he's falling behind out of the gate here in the second. Some adjustments need to be made, and fast. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Striding in, Chaz McCormick. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. Can't get around quick enough, and that'll move the count to one and one. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here now the two two. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw gets him two down. Now with the plate, Corey Lee will try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Ball one. Two out, nobody on. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 oh now. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. The 3-0 pitch. Three balls, one strike. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Acuna's there for it, and that ends the inning. Ready for another chance? Marcelo Zuna. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. Fouled off. Here's another 0-2. And on 0-2, he misses with a fastball. Hey, even though this guy's a righty hitter, he's going to get pounded with that two-seamer. He needs to make sure he catches this thing out front if he sees that pitch again. Another 1-2 delivery. Oh, that's out. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Digging in for his second at bat, Austin Riley. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The 0 and 1 delivery. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. Next will be the designated hitter, Jordan Luplo. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Late that time for a strike. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go 1, 2, 3. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this 1, 2, 3 inning, I think he can right the ship. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. 
Got him swinging in the dirt. Lee has it. And the throw to first ends the inning. So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring in Jose Altuve. High in the air out to center field. Altuve. Rosario is there. One pitch, one out. Stepping into the box, Jeremy Pena, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A ball of no strikes. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game, and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Astros shortstop in front with a 3-1 and one count. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a pitch swung on and bounced to Arcia at short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up Alex Bregman. Starts him out with a curveball for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. This one's outside quite a bit off the plate that time. High in the air out to center field. Rosario is there. Makes the catch and that'll retire the side. All set for the start of the fourth. And up next the catcher Travis Darno. First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one. 0 and one. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. One away. Now back. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. And that one got a piece of him. In now, Ronald Acuna. In his last appearance, he singled home a pair of runs. First delivery to him on the way. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Tucker is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Now batting, Eddie Rosario. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in is the DH, Jordan Alvarez. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. A 2 0 count to the Astros DH. Smoke toward the hole. Throw on to first in time, one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And in to hit next will be the outfielder Kyle Tucker. And a fastball close, but ultimately ruled a ball. 1-0. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's players talk about rhythm and timing. Well, he is perfectly on time in the heart of the zone. Into the box, Jose Abreu. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. 
excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same inning. Watch yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Here's Michael Brantley. The left fielder, number 23. Comes into this Michael at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Hot shot to third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And the throw will be too late as he can't recover in time. Into the box now, Chaz McCormick. As he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Corey Lee is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. He's not having his best outing in this one. And I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. Three and one to him now. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Olsen will put this one away, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0-2. And it's fouled away. Ready with another 0 2. Popped him up. Bregman has a play. And that's the first out of the inning. And that'll bring up Matt Olson. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. A ball and a strike now to the Braves' first baseman. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. One out, nobody on. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Marcelo Zuna will be next. Oh, and a great knuckle curve just buckled him there, and there are two gone. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth, and that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Marcelo Zuna. Ground ball right into the shift. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve, as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. And he gets ahead here with the fastball, strike one. Now Altuve connects. Deep left field. And that ball is gone! Santa Maria, game over! Hey, this game looked like it was going to be one of those wild ones right from the beginning. But when you could win this thing in walk-off fashion, what a way to win a ball game. A 